Hey guys, what's up? What's good? How you doing? It's your girl, Jenny V. Trying, trying to come with a new intro, you know? Try to like make it more me, but not too much. I want you guys to see my personality. Like sometimes when I watch my videos like 10,000 times, I'm like, girl, are you trying too much? Or sometimes I'm like, you, you, they, they're not going to see who you really are. Because like sometimes I'm a little much and then sometimes I'm like, not. So, but like, most of the time, I'm like, you don't either see my personality enough, and then when I do try to let you guys see it, it's like, girl. But whatever, we'll we'll get there, we'll establish it. But sometimes I want to call you guys mamas, and I know I have some guy subscribers, so I don't want anybody to take offense to that. But also, I want to like, I don't know if that's like too high schoolish, like I tell my best friends that are like this with me since high school that like I call them mama hey ma hey mama like we do the same thing but I mean like there's just like three of us three four of us and then the rest is like hey girl because I guess like that became the new thing I mean most everybody says hey girl what's up but I mean I don't know you guys give me your opinion on it I'm trying to figure out like what I could call us I mean, I don't know how it'd be like the mama's gang, <laughs> but it's it's an idea I'm thinking because, you know, we growing here. We are growing and I love it. I made it to the 200. Well, we made it to the 200 subscribers count. Okay. Like we're already up there. Like I think last time I checked was like 220 or that. And like, hey, go us. <laughs> But anyways, uh, besides that, great news. Today's Memorial Day. I just got out of work. I had to work all day. I mean, like, it wasn't crazy. I'm working from home. But, yeah. Let's uh, jump into what I was really making this video about. Which is how I got catfished. And it was, it was shocking, y'all. Like, your girl was really catfished. Like by a psycho okay like y'all have no idea how disappointed I mean I really wasn't disappointed let me let me just jump into it okay so I was on tinder and pof when your girl was single okay like and I never ever 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 trusted these dating websites I was honestly just dead bored like I was just like you know because I used to work till 12 30 at night and I was like you know what like how do I expect to meet somebody? I mean, like, I really wouldn't take those relationships serious because it's like, we already know what Tinder's about. And POF is full of fuck friggin' freaks, okay? Like, people just want, like, I think it's worse than POF because, I mean, worse than Tinder because POF, people be just sliding your messages like, I want a boom boom today. And it's like, well, damn, okay. And I think it's funny also with POF because I think people save like their response because like they'll message me the same thing two weeks later if I didn't respond but whatever uh so this guy right I was talking to him or I found him on POF and Tinder so we were like oh haha ha, we matched on both or whatever and he seemed okay like he wasn't like my like mm, you you psh, boy you could get it no he was like I right, you seem all right you know and we kind of vibe through the messages, but he was, he was a little pushy to get my number. And here's the thing, like, when I'm on the online dating things, I never give my number. Maybe I'll give you a text-free number. But I'm just like, nah, you know, like, you could have, like, my social medias. Bring up my following count. Like my pictures. But, like, you're not going to get my number. So, this one was a little odd or whatever. He was younger than me, and what caught my attention about him was... I think what really caught my attention about him was in one of his pictures that he posted was he had a picture with one of his friends that I used to work with in the mall and his friend was low-key kind of cute but you know he got a girlfriend so I was like I, I mean he he flirted with me but he was single at the time it was a different story but I remember how tall his friend was okay this this is important to remember for a little bit later on okay so his friend was like maybe my height I might have been a little taller than him like by a smidge and his picture it looked like they were the same height 
and whatever and he was talking to me and he has a kid she was like two or three and you know like there's issues with the mom or whatever and they're not together they weren't together for a hot minute so i was like okay i was like because i have nothing against people with kids like hey stuff happens and you gotta move on you gotta live your life and i love kids so you know if you have a kid and then we work out and then we get married and have kids then we're gonna expand our family you know so like i don't mind that so like that wasn't a bother at all and i was like oh his daughter's so cute and like he's like a really responsible dad but like at the same time he was young and he i mean he lived with his parents but like he was young and he was you know a young parent i was like 26 at the time no 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 i was like 27 yeah i was like 27 and he was like 23 let's just say that yeah i'm pretty sure he was like 23 and i really try not to talk to anybody who's under 25 when i was 27 and whatever so homeboy was talking to me somehow he got my number i was like all right whatever like you're annoying me i'm gonna just give you the number you seem okay you seem normal he seemed normal through all the messages i was like whatever i'm gonna give it to you right he seemed cool we were vibing we were texting you know i was like all right okay I, I could you know see the little chemistry going on and you know like since I worked at night sometimes it was dead at my job so I could text back constantly but then I had my really busy moments and I would tell him like hey this is the first day let me get this out the way this is the first day like we're actually talking because the first day like we like little chit chat then the next day like we continued and this is like the real first like conversation we're really 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 having and homeboy was like and somehow we facetime on my break i don't i don't know i, I guess i was really that bored so i was like f it facetime me boy because your girl was single and bored i normally never go i i'm not like i would never take anything serious i'm people for tinder because like you, we all know what tinder is about and you know i mean a big thumbs up to y'all that actually found real relationships okay because that's really rare because i be finding a lot of f boys on there but apparently a lot of crazies, okay? Because homeboy was a catfish and crazy. All in one. But, um, so whatever, we were vibing. I was like, all right, so we FaceTime. Had to be the angles, y'all. Had to be the angles, okay? But it was also dark on his end when we were FaceTiming because he was like, oh, he was doing Uber Eats or whatever. And... So it was nighttime when we were talking because I would take my break at 8 o'clock at night. It was dark. And, you know, when you put on that little light in your car, it really don't do much. So, whatever. I was like, okay, he kind of looks like what he says. Right? So we're talking and talking. It's easier for me to talk at night, well, when I used to work at night, because it would be dead. But then we'd have a really busy moment. So, like, you know, like, sometimes it might be hard for me to respond, like, uh, because sometimes I do get busy at my job we get a busy moment he's like okay cool so whatever so we hung up on the phone and then like we're texting and he was telling me how like the next day is his sister's like engagement party or whatever and i was like oh that's dope you know like uh, i hope you have fun you know and i was just like asking little questions you know just to kind of like engage a conversation and kind of seem like i was interested but i was just trying to see like what kind of person he was and yeah he was like, you know, at first I thought he was just saying it to say it to be, like, kind of nice or whatever. He was like, I wish we would have met sooner because I would have loved to have you, like, there and be around my family. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, but hey, you know, I really didn't know what to say. I was like, you know, we work out later down the line. I'm sure there'll be events. It's your sister's engagement. So, I mean, there's going to be a wedding. So, maybe we'll be cool enough by then that I could go. And he's like, oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm like whatever like i didn't really mean anything by it. i was just like kind of like trying to smooth it over because i was like all right bro like and whatever so he kept like we would move on to like another conversation he's like i really and he kept going back like i really wish you could come tomorrow and i was like well i was like regardless if i could i mean like i work and I wouldn't feel comfortable you know like but you know it's nice that you would want me there you know well it's the first day you guys first day and i'm like in my head i was like he's a little pushy i was like maybe like you know like he's like that all right type of boy and you know i'm like that real baddie and he was like dang i need to wipe her up right now 
I don't know, like, so, whatever. Okay, so I was like, mm, yeah, you know, like, I mean, whatever. And he was like, yeah, no, 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 no. Um, He's like, absolutely, like, you know, like, uh, it, w it would be way too soon. I'm like, uh, yeah, because I haven't even met you, bro. <laughs> and so whatever so we were just talking and like starting to get busy in my job okay remember I told you guys that oh, one so I got busy in my job and I slowed down messaging him must have been like 20 minutes half hour and he was like hello why aren't you answering me da -da -da -da. and I'm like he's like are you okay are you mad at me and I was like bro i was like i told you i get busy at work like i can't just be oh i'm busy at work i'll text you later like once like my work goes because i work for a nursing home pharmacy so like, you know i gotta i gotta be on it like i can't just pause and that i already forewarned you before so i don't know what to tell you homie anyway so i was just like ooh, red flag like this is like the second red flag okay because like you were already hinting like that you kept kept saying that you would want me there and like I just thought it was weird so I kind of thought that was one little red flag now this was definitely a red flag and I was like oh you know like I'm just busy like that turned me off or like it started to turn me off as soon as that happens I tell you and like you get kind of weird with me about it like bro we have not even been talking for eight hours and you're already getting weird on me I could get it maybe if it was like a week. Maybe a week. But we ain't even eight hours into this conversation and you already getting crazy with me? Like low key, easy, lightweight, crazy on me? Mm, no, honey. No, no, no. This is what we are not about to do. And I was like, in my head, I was like, oh no, we gotta check yourself out. This is why you don't give your number to anyone yet until you know, like, you know like you meet them a few times it's like okay then i'll give you my number no so i was already getting turned off i was like mm, i knew something was up knew it. so i started to like pull myself away all in the same freaking night y'all okay Ugh. so whatever let's just fast forward like you know i was like oh, i'm really busy i'll talk to you tomorrow blah 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 and he kept messaging me like i'm sorry if i really upset you i was like bro like i'm just really bit like we're really busy right now and i can't talk and like it's gonna get late whatever and he had messaged me and then eventually he gave up and then the next morning he messaged me and sent me like a video of him and his daughter or whatever and i was like oh that's cute and i was like hey good morning whatever and then he was telling me like how like you know he's getting ready for his sister's uh, engagement party he was doing like the dj or lighting something like that because he was in like that kind of business thing as another job too and i was like oh okay well you know have fun at your sister's party i'm going to work now this was a saturday right saturday or sunday one of those it had to be a saturday yeah um and he was like you know so later and not even later it was like almost like 12 o'clock in the afternoon and he was like you know like i really wish you were here to make my day and i was like dude it's your sister's like engagement party like he's like i really wish i could meet you and i was like you will eventually my head i was like if you get more crazy i'm definitely blocking your number boy like oh no so tell me why this boy eventually goes you know what uh he's like what time do you get out of work i was like like four i think but pretty sure i told him seven because i was just like i don't know someone tells me tell him later and i was like oh i get out at seven or no i think i told him the right time i was like oh, i get at four but now i'm staying till seven because i was like oh you i know when somebody asks this that they're gonna be like oh you should come through so i was like oh well they may they're telling me i gotta stay till seven so i gotta stay till seven and then he was like, you know what, like, when you're done with work, just come here. And I was like, what? C come where? He was like, come here, come see me. And I was like, so I could, what, meet your family? I haven't even met you yet? Like, I don't get it. And he was like, no, he was like, um, he's like, it's just to see me. And I was like, ain't your family there? 
I'm gonna be mean. You for the first. My thing is like that just shows me how much respect you don't have for your family and for your daughter because you were just gonna introduce any old stranger or bring like they're gonna wonder. They're gonna be like, who's that girl? Like, and you're gonna be like, oh my friend. Come on, we all know like my friend, right? And. He was like, no. And that's when I was like, I drew the line. I was like, oh, no. I'm really checking out of this. I cannot be with somebody, especially when you have a kid and you are ready for me to meet them, like, the right away, the first day we start talking. I'm like, no. Your mindset is not where I would want to be. I would want somebody to be like, you know, like, we need to hang out when I don't have my daughter. I could have somebody babysit my daughter. And it's just you and I to get to know each other because we have never met. You don't know if I'm a psycho. Just like, I don't know if you psycho, but apparently he was, okay? We haven't even gotten to the psycho part. <sighs> okay, so after that, like, I was just like, eh, pump the brakes. No, like, I was like, you know what? Like, you're trying to move too fast, and I'm not comfortable with that. I was like, I don't want to see, like, your parents and your family, you know, your daughter. Like, shouldn't you be attending to her and stuff like that? And then he was like, oh, no, like, you know, like, I would just, you know, you'd go and meet me there and, like, you know, we'd, like, hang on the back or whatever. And I was like, no, like, if we're meeting the first time, I want your full attention. I don't want to feel uncomfortable hoping that I had to dodge someone or that. Like, I don't want that. So whatever. So eventually, like, I just stopped answering him. I was like, you know what, like, uh, I don't think this is for me. I apologize. You're a great guy. Like, I was trying to be nice about it. I was like, you're a great guy, but... I don't think this is gonna work I think you're moving too fast and you don't have the respect that I would want from somebody who has kids and their family I wouldn't I don't introduce anybody to my dad until like I know like we are for real for real serious like my dad's only met two of my boyfriend two maybe three and I've had a few boyfriends I'm not gonna lie I've had like eight <laughs> so yeah uh but anyway so like he kept blowing up my phone y'all like he was texting me he's like please i'm sorry begging me and like he was like please 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 i'm so sorry da -da -da -da. just texting on and on and then blowing up my phone and then tried to pull the fucking guilt trip you guys of oh my god a big fight happened at the party and i just need somebody to talk to it's like oh, of course something just so happens to go down right what a coincidence right during whatever and i ignored it i ignored it call me call me a bitch but that was too much tell me if i was wrong for doing that guys like i told him i pieced out the right way i tried to make my peace like this is not for me this is not for me <laughs> and also like I don't know like I, I just didn't like that right so I just I believe I blocked his number after a while but I didn't block him off Instagram this boy had two Instagram accounts okay and then he started blowing up my Instagram and he was like please talk to me blah blah, blah. I was like bro you were he wrote me like a paragraph he's like just meet me today now it's the next day it's Sunday and I had this huge paragraph from him and I was like bro we are barely two days into well not even talking at this point and you're already writing me paragraphs like do you even know my middle name to be writing me paragraphs you haven't even met me yet and you're already writing me paragraphs it's barely been 48 hours and you're writing me paragraphs and it's just like you know like Mimi I'm sorry uh you know I was just so excited to talk to you because we vibe so well and yada 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 and I was just like I, I messaged him I was like look I'm really sorry but like I feel like I'm being smothered I can't breathe like you're too much I was like I really thought you were a nice guy and then like you kind of went from zero to like 10,000 real quick and I'm not about that. I'm sorry. Like, I have a lot going on. Maybe it was wrong of me for to do this. I apologize. Good luck to you. And, you know, God bless you and your daughter. She's beautiful. She's a great dad. But, you know, whatever. Blocked him. Homeboy messaged me on his other Instagram. And I just never answered. I was like, you know, he's just going to keep doing it. So I just muted his conversation. 
right? And months go by, a few months, I think like a month went by, slid back in my DMs. And I was like, bro. And I told my best friend, uh, Cynthia, I was like, girl, look at what homie just wrote me. And she was like, wow, he's crazy. Like he's psycho. I was like, I know. Then a few months more went by and then he was telling me how like his sister's wedding was like gonna be in Hawaii or whatever and all and I didn't answer but I left him on red like I let him know like you can message me I'm gonna leave you on red I'm not gonna respond to you and then oh my god and then like his sister's wedding happened and I don't know I was bored and I think I just wanted to see what he would do if I responded to one of his messages or whatever and he was like I don't know, I was just like, I said congratulations to his sister's wedding or something like that. And he was still in Hawaii. And he was like, oh my god, he's like, I'm gonna be home this day, like we should meet up. And I was like, mm, we really shouldn't. And then, I don't know, and then I was like, you know what, let's just, his angles of his pictures, okay, he seemed kind of cute. Seemed. So I was like, let me see, you know, let me just whatever don't ever meet up with a guy a lot I mean like yeah you eventually can meet up with him alone but be in a public space I mean like so whatever I'm going to go meet up with him by his house this is probably still a bad thing yeah but I shared my location with Cynthia because I was like girl this is by your house and you know if you don't hear from me within an hour come look for me bitch come look for your girl because he done kidnapped me and probably put me in his closet tied up so I shared my location with her and I went to go meet him. Homie did not look like his pictures. I was like, <laughs> he was like, I was like, I'm here. And like, I was by the corner and he's like, oh, he's like, I'm walking up now. And I saw him and I was like, what the, <laughs> he was a barely a little taller than me and I'm not close to 5'11 5'11 that he claimed to be well I was like and I said it just like that I was like wow you're not as tall as you said you were he goes yeah I am I was like I'm 5'5 five, 5'6 five, five, at most and you are just a smidge taller than me like I said I knew you were not that tall because of the picture of you and your friend that I know that I used to work with so whatever and I'm just looking at him I was like you don't look like your picture like he literally did not look his pictures like from here maybe but like y'all like his angles made him look like he had muscles like he would like flex like I ain't got shit I got flabby ass arms whatever but like he would like flex like this and you know like angles so it looked like he had a chiseled chin okay and had some some muscles going on your girl was highly disappointed homie had no muscles homie had a quadruple chin okay and one second sorry about that guys he had a quadruple chin going on okay and he was a little bit of a big boy okay and he was drinking henny and i was like what he's like you want some and i was in a red cup i was like i don't know what the hell is in there i'm good i was like mm, no thanks i'm good and he was like all right let's go for a walk and we're just talking and i was like he was getting already super clingy super desperate and was like yeah like i could take you out i could do this da, da, da. and i was like no like i'm just here to get to know you and uh no no and he uh he was just like i was just looking at him because i was like oh no 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 like he really didn't look like his pictures guys like his eyes and maybe his nose and but like I don't know if he's using a filter or what but like and I told him I was like you don't look like your pictures and I was like or when we FaceTimed and he I was like 
I, I was like, that's, he was like, cause he was like, why are you just staring at me? And I was like, cause I'm trying to see how you look so different when I FaceTimed you to now, honestly. I was like, I know that was a few months ago. Like it was like six months probably around there. And like, you don't look the same, but remember it was dark and it was cold during that time. So he had a scarf around him and he had a hoodie on so I, I should have been says i should have been on catfish okay um because like these were all the red flags of like i could barely see him like i could only see like here and it was already shadowed as it was and i was like i i was so like up front because like i felt like i was scammed i was like you don't look like before <laughs> and he was like really he's like i look better right? and i was like no you don't and we parted ways like we spoke for a little bit and like i was already getting annoyed by him he was trying to be a show off like yeah i have all this money blah 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 bro if you had all this money you wouldn't be living with mommy and daddy no shade to anybody who lives with their parents but if you're gonna flaunt that you have money and all this money you wouldn't be living with your parents that's my thing like you know so it was getting really obnoxious to hear him speak and I was like all right well I gotta go I got stuff to do whatever and we left like well we parted ways and he never stopped texting me and I had to block him and but well he not text me but dm me because I wouldn't unblock his number and he was like saying you gonna unblock me and I was like no and then I messaged him. I was like, I am probably never going to talk to you again. And what made me remember this is because I was just randomly going through my block list. And I saw his name and I was like, wow, I forgot about this guy. Crazy. Okay, he was just so crazy because he wouldn't stop messaging me. Tell me how much he misses me. And I was like, bro, we barely talked for 48 hours and he missed me. You miss me? makes me kind of wonder let me let me not say that but let me just say he tried his best to talk to me as much as he could when I went back on POF after that and tinder he tried well he tried to match with me on tinder and you can't message somebody unless you guys match but on POF he would message me because you don't gotta match or anything and he would message me and I was like oh my god bro leave me alone <laughs> like I don't want you like I was catfish like I was just looking like who are you what like you look like this fit buff dude in your pictures maybe because the suit was hiding it all in Hawaii but mm. bye <laughs> But yeah, guys, that is the story of how I was catfished.